Thanks for joining us on your Pan African Television. Uh, this is Africa Media. It's another day, another time for us again to talk Africa, to look at some of the issues and events uh, happening around the African continent. And our focus today is on Sudan, the uh, suspension of Sudan by the African uh, Union body. One of the highlights of the just in the African Union Summit, the extraordinary uh, session of uh, the African Union Summit, was suspended. In Sudan uh, was seeking to get back into the African Union family since of 2019. The African Union Peace and Security Council suspended the participation of the Republic of Sudan in all activities on the establishment of a civil transition authority as the only way to allow Sudan to exit from currency. Sudan has engaged in efforts with the Union to end the suspension of its membership following the coup d'etat that occurred in the civilian transition of October 2021. Uh, in Sudan, I call it blaming the Union for uh, lacking to incorporate the first Sudan to resolve the Ukraine uh, in past. The question of the member states by the African Union helps to resolve the crisis in different countries. We do this is on the continent. Once again, EU suspension of Sudan and its impact on member states is our focus today on the program. Thanks for always tuning in, and uh, we're happy to uh, be with you this afternoon as we're looking at the impact of uh, suspension on uh, even member states by the African Union body. As we told you earlier, the highlights or one of the highlights of the just ended uh, 36 ordinary session of the African Union summit was uh, the fact that Sudan was seeking to get back into the African Union family after it was suspended since 2019. However, the suspension still stands as the African Union authorities uh, believe that uh, Sudan has not uh, complied or, or uh, Sudan has not fit up before the expectations of permitted to get back into the African Union body. We will be discussing uh, that topic this uh, afternoon and we are joined by uh, Meki El Mugradi. He uh, El Mugradi, he's from the journals from Sudan. Uh, Mr. Meki, it's a pleasure having you on Africa Media this afternoon. Meki, you are joining us by Zoom. Meki El Mugradi, you are a journalist joining us from Sudan. Welcome to the program. It's good having you. Uh, please, maybe switch your microphone. We can get to you from here. Make it please, can you switch on your microphone? We can't get the feedback from you. Uh, um, I'm very thankful and highly appreciative for Africa. Uh, and also for the program used on the continent. Uh, that is a very important uh, topic uh, because now Sudan is going through a critical crisis. Uh, in the media language, we can say uh, it up. But when it comes to the legal decision of what happened in Sudan, it is a political crisis. Uh, because if we want to comply with the African Union Charter for Democracy and Election, uh, the Charter states that uh, it considered that a, a military coup uh, take over the power from an elected, uh, elected government. And now Sudan is the process of democratic transformation. It's very sad to have uh, disputes between military and civilians, and also disputes between the civilians themselves and the military, and also uh, disputes between the military side and our movement. But this is what is happening in Sudan. So what is happening in Sudan, according to the African Charter of, uh, for Democracy and Election, is a political crisis. And that was the text of the Article 23 from the Charter. In the Article 25, it was clear that the role of the African Union is to uh, and to exert the efforts to settle uh, the, uh, the problem or to try to settle the problem. And then the African Union uh, might go to section if the situation is uh, a or unconstitutional nation. So the African Union, in this case, uh, not just debated its charter, but the African Union lost the rule that might make difference in public. Uh, the people waiting 
uh, support from the African Union to the credit transit is what? Uh, to mediate between uh, the, the parties that are disputing uh, insulin. But I think uh, the issue of the Islamic became the African Union as a focus, uh, and they just borrow this uh, tool from the, uh, from, the, from the West, and they are practicing it uh, in Sudan in other African nations. Uh, also, that in other African nations, it should be true that some of the cases uh, considered as uh, a good example, but still we have a problem in Africa. The African Union is an uh, organ for development, an organization for all, and Africa facing hunger, drought, not, and those issues cannot be even discussed among Africans with the outside of the country. I think the African Union should change simply should change the way that uh, deal with, uh, with the African nations that even they are facing uh, unconstitutional change or code. Uh, uh, it could be possible that uh, the sanction might be uh, the 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 votes in in the voting system that uh, might some countries from voting. But to suspend uh, the participation of, of, of another nation, the African Union, while we are discussing development plans and uh, immigration issues and, uh, uh, and uh, border clashes, uh, as now, how can the African Union mediate in the issue of the Nile base and the dispute between Ethiopia, Sudan, and uh, Egypt, and even Sudan and Ethiopia in a time they have the first clash and the war among the borders? How can the African Union? Why the African Union is practicing suspension and sanction. So, um, uh, uh, I think the African Union, just in the case of Sudan, in all this, need to review and revisit uh, what is going on in the practice of the African Union regarding the unconstitutional change. Uh, also, uh, this way might play. Hello? Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, also, the way of practicing the sanctions might open doors to the Western to influence the African Union. Because some countries now are facing unconstitutional change, like uh, the African Union now is the West, but the government has stronger relations with Russia. So now it became Russia West conflict, not to the African Union uh, case. So uh, I think the African Union should not be absent, so should begin contact with the African Union. I should be able to do a sanction even with the sanction. Because now we are looking at the ideas of the actions of Africa on the ground and media. Okay, back to you, Nate. Thanks very much for that. We are going to help you with this Osman. Hey, John, it's from Sudan, Idris, if you're there. Good afternoon, Idris. Right, we are still hoping to have uh, uh, Idris uh, Osman, a journalist uh, from Sony Kali, hoping he joins us uh, during the program. We are having uh, Mr. Antium, he's a civil society actor. Mr. Antium, it's a pleasure having you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, good afternoon to all the viewers of uh, Free Media, especially those who are watching us from Sudan at this point. Yeah. Of course, a special one to all the officials of EU, especially the chairman of that organization. Mm. I think uh, in Pan African TV, we hold the eye of Africa so dear to our hearts because we have only one Africa. There is no other Africa that we can get from anywhere. Mm. That is why anything that touches any country, especially the situation of uh, Sudan, that we know the history of that country and instability. We all know the, the history of the fool. And if today we are still talking about suspension of that from African Union activity, I believe that I have to join my first co to think that African Union is opening a day for the of the events of the African Union. As we develop, as we unfold the program, more developments will come. Yeah, and we'll look exactly at the suspension of uh, Sudan by the African Union. The way which many are criticizing for not actually uh, handling issues uh, that have to do with uh, the continent, just like here, I like to say that there are critical issues like uh, hunger, drought, a conflict which the Union, the body has failed to address for a long time. Maybe it's in that situation in which our focus on the continent fails to be realized. Now, the Union as a whole, do you think it's critical enough to handle issues and just like from what Mickey uh, uh, and I think that uh, 1963. Um, when the OAU was created, yeah. the agenda of this organization was to see a new Africa after the various wars yeah. and the post colonial period. If you evaluate what African countries, the, evalu the evolution that has taken place in African countries, since that period, she went and was sent to EU, yeah. you discover that, I'm not, I don't want, I'm not any struggling to say that the issue of name or nomenclature has an impact or change of objective. But you will bear with me that African Union. From OAU to AU, the ideologies have become obsolete. It is outdated. Maybe the ideologies may not be very outdated, outdated, obsolete. But the people in this association now run out of ideas. 
You know, boy, he said, I told you this video that African Union was already, some of them already considering African Union as a patient suffering from cerebral malaria. I will tell you sincerely again that when you look at countries like Chad, I don't remember EU sanctioning Chad after the terrible coup d'etat and the kind of transitional government that was Chad actually didn't put in place by France. It was alive. Even if they're alive, all we have seen war went on in Cameroon, notably in southern Peru, seven years long. African Union have not at any point in time come out here to the separatists to call on them or the separatists sponsor this war from abroad or to call on Cameroon government for human rights violation and terrible atrocities. We saw in Gabon in 2000, I think that was 2019 or 20, we saw the political tension in that country. We don't hear EU come. And let me tell you. Of July 2004, the UN added resolution 156 imposing sanctions against Sudan. Yeah. When you look at these sanctions, talking about humanitarian crisis and widespread human rights violation in Africa, it now falls clearly what my first open list said. That if today we have when England on African soil, they were why? I'll tell you, sincerely, that AU is a fake. You look at the sanctions made on Sudan, you don't need to say that the sanctions are biased. Yeah. That is why I am to tell you that. When the Nigerian MC exists, that in 2019, the BSC, that is the slam of sanctions of these same people, claim that they them to have the international government over that the same people that they are pretending to sanction this one have been having almost every capital. But we haven't heard, we haven't heard he come out. Surely enough, the chairman of EU, I think he is not in charge. He might have moved to Africa with all the happenings in charge. We never heard him come out with his sons. I don't feel personally that there is a hidden agenda that it has against me. I want to think because an association that wants to see African countries develop, an association that wants to see the human situation in African countries improve, an association that wants to see a stable African country one with all the problems and the turbulence that Sudan has gone through. This was the time of the union to be solutions, not to be sanctioning Sudan because sanctioning Sudan. It's just a bit soft and already easy to breathe. And I don't think Sudan will take in the light. Uh, you will hear me that when Timmy Bada launched an attack on the Okoyas, that is the truth. The reaction made on mine. I resist it and I feel alive today. I want to be this is that of to stand here Sudan, put him to this person. But they are not genuine. It doesn't show any of my It's not a time in Africa is already with a lot of problems. Where it's up. I mean, you all understand that. That maybe you are really minister, but we don't understand where and who has that agenda. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Jim uh, Emmanuel, civil society actor. And uh, Mickey, uh, you will answer this afternoon exactly. You want to know the African Union believes that uh, Sudanese government uh, has not done much in uh, you know abiding with uh, the uh, the requests made by the African Union to bring back peace or to to hand over power to a civilian government. Maybe we know what uh, has been done so far in Sudan and how or what role the African Union has been playing to ensure that uh, the situation comes back to normal. What has Sudanese government been doing uh, thus far? Uh, yes, uh, I, I, uh, I listen carefully to the deep analysis that he presented on the issue of African countries, Sudan, Chad, and uh, Mali and others. Uh, yes, I do believe that, that there is a agenda. Why? Uh, even without making focus on the issue of chat, just look at that and uh, use uh, the, the fruits from their fruits, you can judge them. Okay, what are the fruits? What are the results of the African Union stand against Sudan? The results are that the issue of Sudan. The big mediators are the quadruple or the quad, which is a mechanism of four countries. Uh, who are those countries? United States, United Kingdom, Saudi Arabia, United States, from Africa. So who are mediating now, assailing the issues in Sudan, are four countries from Africa. Yes, there is hypertension, another mechanism part of that, which is uh, the Iraq and the African Union and the United Nations, which is us. But we know that when the United States comes to the scene with its muscles, the United Kingdom and Saudi Arabia and Emirates, the wealthy federal countries, when they come to the intervention issue 
again and again with marginalized. And that happened because there is a angle to fall to that. Uh, out of the country. Yes, I'm hearing Take it. Take. Yes. Go ahead, we can hear you. Yes, uh, let me continue on that issue. Uh, let me put a poll here, uh, commenting on African media and African activism. Uh, I went in the from the beginning and uh, to end. The countries, uh, the, uh, the special voice or the, the representative of the country by some of them, but I think the atmosphere of media was very resistant to spend to that and other countries. And all people, they are uh, echoing what has been said by our colleague in this uh, episode. That is agenda, because if you compare the case of Sudan with other cases, it was clear that the African Union uh, treats Sudan differently from the countries that you can put to, uh, to other lines uh, under their cases. Uh, let us go to the issue of Sudan. I just want to say something. Uh, after the 25th of October decisions that considered a military coup by the African Union or by others, there was a mediation from the United Nations and also the African Union participated, and there was an agreement between the head of the Sovereignty Council, uh, the leader of the army, the Fatah al burhan and with the civilian prime minister, Dr. Abdullah Ahmad, both together they signed an agreement in November to establish uh, an independent experts government and here is the point some countries that are pretending that friends of sudan but they are pretty intervention on the friendship they don't want independent experiments they don't think that governments they want politicians that they are fighting with their agenda and this is why burhan hamdo agreement was not treated fairly by the african union and the african union uh, was on the suspicion uh, decision and that wasn't an african decision at all. I believe that decision was uh, uh, for the benefit of countries outside the continent who wants to take the wealth of Sudan. Again and again, now there is a new limit between the military and civilians, and the agreement was made by the African Union and supported by the African Union, but was just whispered. Because here is the point. They, they don't want an independent civilian government. There is a will. Some countries, they want to impose some politicians on Sudan and they want to hijack the, the, the Sudan file in the African Union and international organization till they are satisfied with some politicians they want them to be seen in government. And this is why the efforts that came from the Sovereignty Council, uh, President of the Taliban, and even uh, taken by the Prime Minister, the civilian Prime Minister, Abdullah was not appreciated or were not appreciated by the African Union. All right, uh, Mickey, thanks for that exclusive analysis. Uh, we are hoping that your connection gets back to normal so that we, we, we continue the discussions with you. Uh, but we have equally Mr. Njimi, who is a society actor. And uh, Mickey highlighted that uh, different nations will not. Uh, Sudan are discussing the issue of Sudan. Uh, how can Sudan be suspended? An issue that has to do with Sudan has been caused in the absence of Sudan. How effective can such a discussion be in looking at an organization like the African Union which seeks to, uh, you know, bring together and resolve problems? That can you solve some problems without the person uh, on the table? You know, for those who have read history, you'll be, you'll be told that, uh, you'll be told that uh, in 1980, when the first war ended, the men all over the world, sat in the hall of mirrors in France. That is to sign the Versailles Treaty. And the Versailles Treaty was to decide on the fate of the in the absence of the meeting. To kill on shots of the repercussions of such a meeting. You know what happened? When Germany bounced back in 1983 with the rising of the Hitler, he had to recollect every piece of land that was seized from Germany in her absence in the Versailles Treaty, in the hall of mirrors. In the 21st century, it is shown that you are taking assumption about somebody being discussed by other people. And other people being discussed the sanctions also have to follow the Let's not forget. If you are discussing the sanctions of other, let's assume the African Union is supposed to be fair to all African nations. Now, if one African nation commits a crime, let them be caught to the table. 
We have been seeing that dialogue every day. It seems as if the more we live, the more we forget about dialogue. There's need to talk. You cannot talk about somebody in the person's absence and expect them to They were supposed to have brought in Sudan on the table, discuss issues about Sudan in the presence of Sudan. But if you see them talking in the absence of Sudan, this one only goes a long way to tell you that it's a multi association. The association that, first of all, like I said, when I took the microphone the first time, I think there's a hidden agenda that we don't know. Why, if not, why discuss such pertinent issues and assumptions about Sudan when Sudan is not there? And they count finally with people to discuss such sanctions also have a problem. Because in a situation where this African actually may go for all African countries, such negatives that are part of EU should have taken a while to let the EU wake up to reason. Yeah, but the fact that I said they are discussing these sanctions give me an idea that there is a hidden agenda somewhere. Yes. Uh, let's uh, try to connect with you, uh, you could join us uh, this afternoon. Uh, all right, your life is uh, this uh, day. Uh, Idris, fine. welcome to the program. Idris Usman, you're a journalist and a journalist from Sudan. Good afternoon to you. Welcome to the program. Uh, hello. Challenges. Yes. yes, hello. Yes. I'm hearing you. Right. Uh, Usman, we're discussing the uh, sanction on, uh, of Sudan by the African Union body uh, since 2019, when the country moved from uh, what the African Union described as a democratic road to a uh, military road. Now, Ms. Uh, Wiki said it's a political crisis ongoing presently in uh, Sudan. What's your take on the present situation and the Air Force has been put in place to ensure that uh, power goes back to the hands of our civilians? What's been your observation so far? Uh, well, my observation well, is very clear. As this, uh, and the military leader, a general, for example, had, uh, has called for initiative uh, and dialogue uh, with the CD. If they agree, so we can them power. This is uh, very clear. And it's now a process and negotiation is pending. Uh, but, uh, uh, the point of the situation from the African Union, as well as uh, uh, there, and uh, it's a kind of one of the decisions. decision. Uh, let me give you one of the examples. Anyone know the completion of uh, organization of African Union the African Union. Uh, if you have sent a positive uh, government in the government uh, by the leader, so you can be suspended. But the position of Sudan is very different. Uh, they did not uh, change the elected government in order to Sudan to be suspended. But rather, a sign of a major has been taken. And from here, I call the African Union decision on renewed sanction and taking charge is unfair. Right. Um, Osman. We hope to rest the with you. Um, let's get back to Miki. Uh, Miki, are you there with us? Yes, I am. Yes, Miki. Hello? Yes, I hear you. Right, uh, Miki, uh, if we were to highlight a little on uh, the reason why this, uh, what you described as political crisis in Sudan has not had uh, a solution since 2019, what would you say is that reason why we have this crisis ongoing? What can you say it's actually behind? I think uh, what is happening in Sudan is not different from what is happening in all African countries, but it happens in different ways. The wealth of Africa, the resources of Africa, the colonization went out of Africa and wants to come again. So, unfortunately, even sometimes agendas win African Union agendas. And that I'm very sad to say that. I don't, uh, I don't accuse African Union itself to practice colonization. The, 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 exactly, or absolutely, this is not the job of the African Union, but the Western colonizers, the international companies, and the wealthy nation in, in the world, they want to take African resources by political intervention. And the absence of the African Union is giving them opportunity to practice the things that. This was happening in other African countries. And now Africa became a battlefield. Uh, where are African countries and African nations and African peoples will just wait for uh, the colonial wave to, uh, to come to Africa and go to Africa to have it practice? But unfortunately, what will happen is that uh, the African continent will be a battlefield. Now you have Russia. Russia now has very heavy existence in South Africa. Why not? Why not? Two Central African Inviting Russians without there is a need inviting them, 
but the security vacuum happened after the French pull out of Kennedy without standing with this Kennedy, the issue of security. We hear out standby forces and the African Union, uh, peace and security, and all these things. Where are they when the crisis happens in Africa? And then to other presidents of Central Africa signed deals with Russian companies. Where are they? Where were they at that time? The African Union should not be absent. The African Union should not sanction African countries, and African nations, and African people. The African Union should not side with the effort of the Westerners and borrow from them the copy paste, just like sanction and punishment and things like that. The African Union should maintain the African team, African solution for African problems. This is what we are missing from the African Union. Sudan uh, and South Sudan are the two uh, the oil and oil producing uh, countries in, in East Africa. Okay, look what's happening in Sudan and South Sudan. What is happening in Sudan, South Sudan, uh, is not uh, uh, anything to do with us or the countries. Why? Because uh, some big players in the world, they want the two countries to, to, to remain in, uh, in poverty and under power life. So, again, again, the solution African Union to lift the sanction because those sanctions uh, are not fair and just and not helping the sanction. And currently on the ground, there are agreements between the civilian and military, and the African Union should support these agreements and not just making conditions and slowing the process, waiting for other, other African countries to intervene in Sudan to create the government that they want. Okay. African solutions to African problems, and just like you, you, you highlighted, uh, and you aren't supposed to, you know, assist in resolving the crisis, which is, of course, on the ground. He made mention that already agreements on the ground and uh, between the citizens and calling uh, the Amco. The African Union side is helping to make the situation more complicated, considering that Sudan has been making efforts in, in resolving the crisis. Now, since Sudan on sanctions, this, of course, like you said, is not helping the, the, the situation. Yes, it's not the situation. Hmm. It's a situation where we, as if every day we are learning, I've learned of late that any situation, that you refuse to talk, you give time and opportunity to grow bigger than the solution that you will use as an initiative. I've all equally learned somewhere, somehow, that there are some situations that there are some crime that do not need punishment. There are some crimes that need punishment. It could not be a dead punishment. But somebody could commit a particular crime and decide to sit down and talk to people, and at the end of the day, the person have the decision to go. Especially in state affairs, you will discover that African governments have produced more terrorist groups than terrorist groups routing out themselves. What do I say so? What is the fact that there is a little conflict where instead of the government to sit and talk, they concern, they declare a war. You see, the same error that the African Union, which was supposed to be a peace in the African continent, they have taken the same direction, like some dictators in Africa. In this case, the armed groups, like he said, there were already talks on the ground. They might have been about to reach an agreement which could produce full results. But now, would they stand going? Be struggling to fight the sanctions, be struggling to talk with the groups. My only problem is that why only on Sudan are they so fast in declaring something, in making such sanctions? Whereas we have countries in Africa. If you go to the Maghreb, you discover that countries in Africa have done a lot of things. It is called that Algeria almost put up between them and the Cameroon. They don't have sports. You never had African Union. Because sports is one of the most unique actors in the world. Oh, it's over that I expected African Union to at least say a word. But thank God, the Sporting Federation of Algeria and that of Cameroon understood each other. They worked underground, they worked for peace, and peace is finally returning. Yeah. African uh, Union has failed, and the report card is all rich in making progress in African countries. African Union, there are, without exaggeration, there are human rights across Africa that, are, that can fight more achievement than African Union. I for one here. Actually, I cannot really place the finger on the success of the African Union because I see more of their failures than their success. And in this case, what baffles me the more is the bias. The only wrong country where have maybe uh, something against that country. Because I will keep saying, why did the African Union not join China? You know how the African Union was very quick mm. to condemn Asim, Asim Beta. Yeah. They were very quick to condemn uh, the uh, Mamadou. Yeah. Yeah. And you see that it is like Africa you know, has an agenda with Western organizations to digitalize Africa. Because any leader in Africa that rise up against Western interests, the EU is very quick to reappear. Don't be surprised that if Cameroon rises today and decides to fight against France, that's when EU will think about the name Cameroon. They will come in with sanctions. 
So I mean, it's a, it's a period of time. African Union still. And it is time for, like I want to say, Africa as a whole does no longer need African, African Union. We need something bigger than African Union. We need dogs different from the African Union. This organization is a tourist bulldog. It can only buy. And in the next one is to African Union will buy it. So not Africa in any way. So, do me, man. Let's get back to uh, Mickey. Now, also, how has this sanction or the suspension of uh, the uh, uh, of Sudan slowed the effort towards a possible solution or a lasting solution to any the crisis? So, what you could describe as a political crisis in Sudan? You see, the, the, the suspension is unfair, it's unjust, and of course, you know somehow it's caused. So, how has this suspension of Sudan a process towards lasting uh, peace or lasting solution to, 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 to the crisis in Sudan? Let's hear from you. Yes. By hundred percent, okay, because it gives very negative indicators for the political powers that don't join the political settlement. Just keep away because the agreement that already signed between Iran and Hamadouk at first time is not uh, well working because the sanction not lifted yet, and still the country and their intervention. And again, the December twenty agreement that signed between the military components and uh, civilian uh, forces for freedom change who made the revolution and the others who don't have later. The agreement signed, but the sanction not lifted. And that is indicator for the parties that already signed the agreement that the agreement that they signed is this, which is the framework agreement. Because it's just, it was just framework agreement and that means it is incomplete agreement and they need to work on it again and continue negotiation till, till they complete the agreement. But because there's no step or positive uh, results from the African Union side, some of the signatories of the agreement, uh, they started to get out from the process. And that means the African Union uh, absence was uh, making a problem in Sudan and slowing the process and even demanding uh, the political settlement already uh, ha happening now in Sudan. So that was unfair, and I think it has been made like that to open doors for Sudan for the intervention of our continent. And that is a big shame on the African Union. So that was open the doors for intervention by outsiders into the affairs of, uh, of Sudan because the African Union is not doing its job properly, and this is putting Sudan in more harm's way than. Uh, helping to, to to resolve the problem. Yeah, we, we have African Union uh, more in China. We see very less of African Union in terms of practice. Because if actually it was an African Union, uh -huh. I don't think with all the conflicts in Africa, African Union representatives would not have been able to make their plans feel in most countries that will not be citing here. Why are they so quick on the case of Sudan? I think the Sudanese authorities should look into these sanctions very keenly and with another eye. Because, like I said, the West is capable of using the aid to fully destabilize Africa as of now. But first of all, in the African Union, like uh, a seat, the European Union is sitting. But in the European Union, the African Union has no seat. So, it's like African Union somehow can be considered as a tool used by the West world to spy Africa as of now. They deal with the countries that want to stop, which in the first story, I don't think is correct. Africa, you know, was supposed to come of each. But at this particular point in time, Africa can rely on African Union. As we speak, African Union is in our life. No African country, I repeat, even that, no African country can be able to boost that it will be benefited from you. So I said, yeah, this is a total good out. We need a different organization. Possibly not having the same form, not having the same agenda like African Union, which would be answerable to African states, but states, not the European Union, not to France, not to America, and not to, 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 to West Africa. So I think African Union is being used actually as of now as a tool to spy Africa, which is regrettable. Now, the, the, the fact here, that view from the original objectives of that association, that association was supposed to save Africa. Not the other way around. But we look at very keenly, they are not there to Africa anymore. I don't know. 
uh, to spy. To spy, and of course, we've been into some areas in Africa. Yeah. They are using African Union. I mean, it's dirty. So, who should we blame here? This is the leadership of the organization you, you ask asking for. Possibly an organization that can better manage and can uh, problems. I think African Union should dissolve, Luis. Let's be, let's be straight. Not about the leadership. No. It's like you have an association. If we want to talk about leadership, we have to clean every board, every official. Yeah, because we have the, the uh, African Union. Uh, Commission that Mustafa Ki Mahamad and we have a rotatory uh, African Union uh, no. chair president. That rotatory African Union uh, chair president, I think it, it has not been working. Because it's just one year which is not enough, enough, to, not enough for him yeah. to take up on what wasn't done yeah. and to come out of what he done. So the time frame already is already a problem. There is this problem in Africa that goes even with the presidency. Yeah. Pending that it does enough. Removing the president from office and putting a different one. Most offices in Africa already are aware that there are any problems with who are sitting there. Yeah. You put down a president in every office, it is like holding it inside the form. The person comes up exactly a problem that we're existing. Like the structure system. Yeah, the structure, the structure stand. We have to first of all identify the problems of EU. After the final problem, if it is a problem, it does not always suffice to change the president of this organization or this association. The association itself has harbored a lot of problems, partly because the time given to the year president has never been enough. So anybody coming in here comes in for a contest. Stop, stop taking. Whereas you are over an office, you are supposed to do stop taking. You take stock. You know where the, the, the former problems were. Yeah. And you come with new energy, new strategy, new format of government to be able to make a change. But that's not the case. So here, it is true that the, the administration has a problem. But then, the structure is already has a problem. Right. I think, even in terms of objectives, EU needs to be run. After all, if it could be more EU to EU, I think it's another thing. This time, can't change another thing. All right. If I thought the change of uh, is going to still produce results. Uh, last one for the African solutions to African problems. Uh, Make it um, grabby. Uh, what is the wish of every student at this uh, point in time? The, African Union is still holding back on uh, lifting the suspension on Sudan. Now, what is the plea of every Sudan and what is the wish of every Sudan needs at this time uh, considering the sanction placed on them by the African Union? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that the Falcon would be of this suit. And uh, that is not just analysis. I have information on that. Because even there was no decision uh, in the African Union in February, but uh, the debate and the discussion in the closed session criticize the sanctions. And if the message that uh, the same by uh, the, the president of uh, African Commission, so if from the African Commission, uh, uh, criticized the sanction in English, and all these are indicators. So the issue now is not just the sanctions. The will be over. So that will be back. And if uh, the countries from West Africa will be back the African Union. But what is the lesson that we learn from that? The lesson we learn from that is that the African Union should review and revisit the Charter of Nation and Democracy and the mechanism that imposes the sanction on African countries. Thank you, Mr. Kwame. Thank you, so we're having a, a progress uh, connecting with you. Uh, now, uh, Idris, we, we just a few minutes to the program. What's your, your take and what message you have for uh, uh, the African Union and those of whom we think can uh, assist in bringing back its instability and helping Sudan to resolve its problem? What is your message? Uh, well, my message is right here. Sudan has its membership in the African Union. And in the recent EU uh, session, they talk about uh, the African Union. So, uh, the Soviet is uh, they did not ratify this agreement, uh, and Sudan is one of them. So, if the cessation has been lifted from Sudan, uh, Sudan can ratify the SAA next block, and Sudan can be told more and more about it. Uh, this is what it is. And as I see that uh, the African Union should uh, review its policies uh, or, uh, for sanctioning some countries because we know uh, that they will uh, use uh, uh, in the Africa, uh, maybe they will have to reduce it, and what is the uh, decision? And, uh, Policies about uh, European on African and this way, and I reiterate that uh, Sudan position is very different than the other West African countries. West African countries, they fall in the government. Sudan did not, uh, did not uh, 
uh, uh, elected government. So I hope that such a would be peaceful as well made by its membership and Sudan very important uh, to the whole African continent. I think it uh, was a uh, uh, part of the continent. Sanctions uh, lifted as uh, Sudan regains market uh in the African Union family and enjoys the benefits that comes with it. Uh, Mr. Uh, let's uh, hear from you. What do you think that message should be to the African Union Sudan? Do you wish that the sanction is lifted and Sudan regains back in membership? Just like we pinned the sanctions is lifted from the other member states. Yes, that's, that, that's the only to, I think the only thing the EU should do now to at least have some little credibility of them in the I think EU is not an association should be very fast in some its member states. They should devise a method which is more of finding out oh, what let's, say pre let's say preventive. preventive. Yeah. Yeah. If preventive method fails, you could go down with them, find out what happened. That a member state did what it did. Just like you said, there are some crises in the continent that are not looking in the African Union. Yes. And if this crisis now out of hand and goes the other way, they will come from it. Yeah. So I think they need to be very vigilant. Mm -hmm. And they need to be present on the field. They need to be part they need to go past what pronouncement mm -hmm. and go action. And they need to know that those areas, those Washington areas, those are the areas where you need to show strength. Mm -hmm. It's not in an area of peace mm -hmm. that we need to be handled. Because I've discovered a is clearly running away from our situation. Where there is one, you hardly hear that the A representation are making any documentaries about a parliament in such areas. They want where there is only can to go and base and live. So I think they need to change the dynamic. They need to go where it will create to some problems. They need to go where they are left. If possible, if they could look for preventive measures to even prevent some war from occurring in Africa, it would be better. Rather than just waiting and then. Out of frustration, or a war props of somewhere, somebody take a and they can't be sanctioned. Those sanctions are not working, they're already in the situation. Right. Let's interview uh, Mickey Evo Grady. Uh, Africa here is a perfect style which has a focus in uh, resolving African issues, and uh, especially to protect, promote, and you know, uh, bring to light some of the uh, challenges that Africa is facing. If you have one message to be in, you know, joining hands with Sudan in uh, going past the present situation and play for a possible uh, way, and what would that message be to Africa and possibly uh, maybe to the African Union and everyone else who is watching? Uh, uh, first of all, I thank Africa, uh, Africa Media TV for uh, this opportunity and uh, for the views of Sudan. And uh, I hope that the uh, African Union itself should participate in media discussion related to our issues. The absence of African Union really was not just in Sudan. I witnessed the summit. I was there from 16th of February up to 20th of, uh, of February. And the African Union. It was hard for the media to have discussion with African Union chairs and commissioners on the issue of the suspending countries. I was not alone at that place. There were media from West Africa, East Africa, following the issues and asking for comments, not just the official comments. It is easy for me to forget that uh, the, 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 the chief or, or, or the chair of the Commission of the African Union to repeat the same comments or even to provide sanctions. Uh, just like what happened in the Kenya, but the need for wider debate, wider discussion. I am not here. We will, we want them in African media. We want them here in Africa, Africa Media TV, and this program. We want from the African Union to come here and to clarify what is the, uh, the good thing that they have taken. Why did they sanction Sudan? Why Sudan is fighting agreement after agreement between the military and civil? Uh, they need to answer to this question. Why is to them come closer to African people? And that only can happen if they come closer to the African media. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Miki M. Kabi, journalist. Uh, I will join us from Sudan. Thank you very much for that. We uh, here, just like that, African media is pan African, and our interest is Africa. For Africa, and all we do here is to promote Africa, protect uh, African interests and project uh, some of the issues affecting Africa so that everyone can join hands and contribute in their little ways uh, to help resolve the issues. Our focus today was on Sudan and the African Union uh, suspension of uh, membership uh, from the uh, the African Union uh, family and seeks to get back its membership. Uh, of course, the suspension is illegal, it's unfair, and definitely so how players. We uh, definitely extend our regards to all those of you who are watching us from Sudan. And we're hoping that the authorities and those uh, of the African Union 
uh, find ways to readjust and of course after listening to all your your contributions uh, they should of course uh, look into their policies. We equally had Idris Usman, a journalist as well. Idris Usman, thank you very much. Uh, you're a journalist and we appreciate your contribution. Unfortunately, uh, we had uh, connection issues that we could not get through. Uh, we could have here a studio with us, Mr. Zio Manway, you are a civil society actor. We actually call you your time and thanks for joining us this afternoon. AU suspension, yeah, AU suspension of Sudan, impact of suspension or uh, impact of suspension of on African uh, Union member states was interesting and Sudan was a force. We will come here definitely uh, to discuss more on the situation in Sudan. Okay. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you to our technicians and we invite you to see the free media more programs. I yours and right ahead. Bye-bye. <laughs>